Today we're going to be talking about flipping houses out of state. Chaz and Michelle, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, this is the show on Holton Wise TV where we work together personally, right? This is the most interactive thing we have going on Holton Wise TV, right? We have a lot of uh, financial education, entertainment, uh, and info type shows available to you guys, right? We got the crazy stuff with the tenants from hell show, the landlords from hell show. We got generic unreal estate related financial information and advice and entertainment type stuff with the money show. And then we have a few shows where we work personally, right? We got the investment properties for sale show where we send you guys inventory of properties you can buy, you can bid on video tours, and you guys could bid in real time right there as you watch the show. Which leads me to this show though, right? This is the most interactive of them all. This is the show where you go in and you purchase an analysis or a pack of analysis. We sell them in three, four, and 10 packs, and you give all of your criteria to us, right? You go in, you go online, it's like holdwise.com, property search for sale tab. You make the purchase. After that, I personally email you, and I need to get a bunch of information about you. I ask you, you know, your name, your location. I ask you your income level, your risk risk tolerance, your investment experience, what you're trying to do, where you're at, what uh, type of financing do you have? Do you want financing? How do you want to manage the asset? A million questions, right? I ask you a ton of questions, right? I'm just trying to get a baseline of where you're at in your life so I can best assist you, right? It's completely personal, all related to you, okay? And that's what brings me to you guys, Chaz and Michelle, right? In a nutshell, what you guys want to do, you want to flip some homes here in the Cleveland market. You guys are out there in LA. And our target, we're targeting a baseline profit of $20,000, right? Obviously, if we can do $50,000 profits, hell, we would do those, right? But guys, Let's be realistic, okay? Like, I'm sure, you know, there's some asshole sitting out there like, why would you flip a house for 20000 in profit? I want 100000 in profit. Well, it's not that simple. Like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. You didn't want to make twenty grand. Would you just like to make a hundred instead? No problem. Here's the hundred thousand dollar flip. Right? It's not that easy. Okay, you know it's going to take time and effort to actually get these flips to go through. A lot of things have to fall into place to make these deals go down. They have to go according to timeline, according to plan. We have to do a lot of due diligence, talk to a lot of sellers. Right? It's a big numbers game. Right? So, Chas and Michelle are smart enough to know because they've been in the investment space for a while that just asking to do hundred thousand dollar profits, like you know, it's you know, few and far between, right? So the lower target profit you're looking for, the more frequent, uh, more frequently we can actually get a deal done for you, right? Which brings me to this property, uh, which I think makes quite a bit of sense, all right? 908 Dawnwood Drive, Parma. Just hit the market three days ago. When we're doing flips, guys, that's that's very important. You guys, we have to, usually we have to move quick, right? We got to move quick. Early bird gets the worm. Every once in a while, we might target some properties that are sitting on the market and they're not moving, right? But that's a different scenario, right? That's because the seller did something wrong in the sales aspect and they might be getting desperate. But a lot of times, what we really need to do is we need to get aggressive and we need to be fast, right? So this one uh, just hit the market and we're already going after it, right? 109900 listed by a Howard Hanna agent. And this is the kind of flip that I love to target, right? It's a nice... Uh, Entry level, right? First time home buyer type suburb in the Cleveland market. Very nice little B class suburb. And the price points are very low. And what you get, you get a lot of this, okay? This is what you get with the inventory. You see, it's uh, just a home that hasn't been updated in probably 30, 40, 50 years, right? Like, to me, this looks like, you know, it might be like the 70s or the 80s, right? This, like, weird blue. You got, like, 
you know, these wavy things on the wood. I don't even know what the fuck you call that. Like, it's some, like, blue carpet, right? Like, it's, it's, it's just somebody's grandma's house, right? It's like a little old lady house. And uh, we don't have very many pictures, just a couple. They didn't even do a picture of the kitchen, but you could sort of make it out that it's nothing fly, man. It's just another dated kitchen, right? You got, like, the old school looking stuff there. Like, n nothing is new. Nothing is updated with this, right? Just, just old... Little old lady stuff. And that's like the perfect easy flip to target, right? Because you get a lot of first-time home buyers, right, in this price range. And I'm not saying all first-time home buyers are going to be young, right? But more often than not, uh, you buy your first home, you know, when you're a little bit younger. And more often than not, younger folks are more interested in having a more updated look. So these are just great properties that I like to target because it's just a lot of simple, easy cosmetic stuff, right? We have done so many deals in Parma, right? I actually grew up in Parma, so I know quite a bit about Parma. A uh, couple Holton Wise uh, office buildings are located in Parma, et cetera, right? So... With that said, what I'd like to see us do is get aggressive, come in with a cash offer, right? Because this type of uh, seller, right, they're dealing with a lot of first-time home buyers, right? A lot of people with financing, maybe FHA financing, and, you know, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to, to get FHA loans to go through, especially on an older home like this. So I'm hoping because of all that, we can come in aggressive, and I'd like to see our target price be $88,000. Try to pick it up for eighty-eight grand. Then I want to spend $20,500. And on this next chart, I've broken down where that's going to go, right? I want to do uh, fresh paint, neutral paint throughout, right? Paint, patch, walls. That should run us $3,500. Could possibly be as high as $6,500 if we ran into any major issues. I find that to be a very unlikely scenario. In this flip, right, when I break these down for you guys, I like to give you uh, on the low end what I think it's probably going to cost. And the high end is like, yo, Sometimes stuff doesn't go as planned. This is like bad type deals here. Uh, we could find out after the inspection a little bit more information. But, you know, for these cosmetic things, you know, my bids are, are very accurate, very unlikely unless some crazy unknown happen uh, that we would go off of these low prices, right? So we're going to spend about 3500 doing some paint. As far as that ugly carpet goes, we'll pull that. We'll refinish all the hardwoods. All these homes have nice refinished, or not nice refinished hardwoods. They have nice original hardwoods under there. We'll make them nice when we finish them and then we're going to drop 10 grand in that kitchen make that kitchen banging right home depot or lowe's quality cabinetry countertops make it look good a nice vinyl floor over there then drop another three thousand to make the bathroom match the kitchen right a lot of matching fixtures and flooring right so that's our twenty thousand five hundred dollar budget okay now we're going to, of course, make our offer contingent on an inspection. When we do this inspection, we're going to discover more information. And that's where I'd like to take you to uh, the big ticket items. As of right now, we don't have any reason to believe uh, that there's major issues with the big ticket items. We know for a fact, okay, that the roof was installed in 2020 and the garage roof was installed in 2010. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. As far as the furnace, the AC, the hot water tank, and the electric panel go, I have listed out on the high end what those would cost if we have to replace those. We have no reason to believe we have to replace those at this time. We probably won't have to. Uh, but... Of course, we trust but verify. So we're going to make the deal contingent on a general home inspection. And if the general home inspector says any of those items need to be replaced, I wanted you to know what type of price point you're looking at, right? So worst case scenario, if everything went south and we had to replace all these things, you could eventually be spending a $42,500 mark on a renovation, right? That obviously kills the profit. That but doesn't make the deal pan out, right? So what we're targeting, what we're trying to do, Pick it up for 88, okay? Then we get our home inspection. And if during that home inspection we find additional info, like we know we need to do a furnace, a hot water tank, things of that nature, that's when we go back to our sellers to renegotiate the price, right? So I've given you a roadmap of what to do if you have a less than favorable inspection report, right? You got to renegotiate it because it obviously doesn't make any sense. If you have to spend over 40 grand to renovate it, don't make no damn sense to buy it at 88, right? So that is information we'll get later but now you have the roadmap right but assuming it all goes good 88k 20,500 we would be able to sell that down the road for 140,000 
after your closing costs and your commissions, that would put you guys at your target profit rate of $20,000, right? I estimate this property to have a $20,300 profit to it, right? That would be a very successful flip, a very easy flip, these nice small cosmetic flips. We don't often go over budget or over our timeline on these, right? So just a nice, smooth, easy flip for you guys. And that's what you want, right? If you're out of state, and you're flipping homes in other markets, you want to keep your flips as simple as humanly possible, right? You don't want to go in and like completely gut a house and try to do something insane, right? Because you're, you're halfway across the country, right? You're living in California. This is in Cleveland, right? You want to start off small. You want to target these, you know, low profits, right? If you can, you know, tack together uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty thousand dollar flips throughout the year. That's what you want to try to do. When you try to swing for the fences and go for these six figure profit margins, man, I think number one, that's how you get ripped off. I think you end up working with shady actors uh, who are just selling you on a dream and you're probably not going to make any money or you're going to lose money and they're going to do a bunch of profiting, right? This is a little bit more of a reasonable plan, right? But no, that a lot of things have to fall into place to get this to go down, right? We have to negotiate that seller down in price. I can't guarantee you they're going to take that that offer from us. I, I think we have a good shot because you guys would be a cash buyer and they're dealing with a lot of FHA buyers. But remember, the only thing we know for sure right now is the seller wants 109900 right? Which is more than what we're willing to pay, right? So that's the thing with flips, guys. There's not just like this equity sitting out there. You guys need to understand that to be a successful house flipper, it's a numbers game. We have to put in a lot of offers. We have to do a lot of due diligence. We have to do a lot of planning. It's like fishing. The more lines in the water you have, the better chance you get to catch a fish. So, Chaz, Michelle, that's all I've got for you guys today. If you want to do this deal, reply to the private email, and my team will uh, get started writing up the offer and trying to negotiate that deal with the seller. If for some reason uh, you don't like this deal, just provide us your feedback, and then the next time we do a video for you, we'll take that into account uh, and go a different direction. Everybody else, if you want to work with us in the way that Chaz and Michelle can, just so you know, like this, this property, this is long gone. I sent this to them privately probably a couple months ago. I only released these on Holton Wise TV after the fact down the road so you guys all have the opportunity to learn for free. If you want to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, have us help you uh, make money in real estate investing, what you want to do is go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, and order a package of MLS search and analysis videos. That's all I've got for today, folks. If you're a first-time viewer to Holton Wise TV, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.